Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm really excited to be able to give you guys this piece of information. Basically what I'm going to tell you today um, is a way to really beef up and add some serious muscle to GarageBand um, using the T-Rex 3 high-end mixing and mastering suite from IK Multimedia. Um, you can get this at ikmultimedia.com. Go ahead and click the link below uh, in the more info area of this video and that'll give you all the like nitty gritty details. I'm basically here to tell you that it's A, it's totally awesome um, and B, it's really easy to use. Um, so we're going to be talking about the T-Rex 3 Deluxe Suite, which is what I have, and then also the white 2A leveling amplifier and the black 76 limiting amplifier, which are two of their newest plugins um, to ha that have come out and that are also really simple to use. Now, I'm going to show you something that I've done with it. Um, basically, what I did was I took a song off of the GarageBand and Beyond album, Volume 1, uh, the song Another Rainy Day, uh, the song that I wrote, um, I pretty much considered it the best song on the album best mix that I made on that album. And so I was really curious to see if I could make it any better using the T-Rex 3 plugins. And uh, honestly, it is dramatically better. So um, we're going to get to that as soon as possible. And But the things you should be listening for are uh, the bass tone, drum tone. Well, I mean, pretty much the tones of all the instruments, I think, are much more defined much more clear and sit much better in the mix than they did in the old mix using all the original GarageBand plugins. Um, but the T-Rex plugins, uh, they're just spectacularly good. Uh, so anyway, let's get straight to that. And then I wrote a letter And told my friends that I'm feeling better now Thanks for the sympathy I never knew that your simple words could Turn me around and make me feel so good It's nice to be here again I never told you but I might be crazy Somewhere between hard work and really lazy Is where I'm spending most of my days now And every day I tackle five new problems And every night I book them back where I found them I'll deal with them another rainy day On another rainy day Turned into more and made me queasy Well, I see things differently I never told you but I might be crazy Somewhere between hard work and really lazy Is where I'm spending most of my days now All right, so there you go. So you really should have been able to hear a major difference, um, not just in the high end, uh, but in the low end and in the mids and everything. Like I was saying, I really do feel like the newer version, uh, especially the bass tone, is just a lot more 
uh, defined. In fact, it's like so much more defined that I can hear a lot more inaccuracies in my own performance of the part. But, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it happens. Um, but, yeah, it sounds just I, I think it sounds better. So now let's take a look and um, I'll show you exactly what the program looks like. All right, so here we are in a GarageBand window, and I'm going to zoom in here just so you can see what I got. Uh, everything down here, uh, the T-Rex 3 and below, these are all the different plugins that are inside the T-Rex 3, uh, plus a few additional ones. So let's open up T-Rex 3 first. Sorry, I went the wrong way. Um, so when you first open it, it's pretty much a blank canvas. You know, uh, Think of it as like a rack. Uh, and you're able to just sort of drop in modules and uh, they automatically hook up all magically. It's really awesome. So, um, but they do have a bunch of presets. So let's go through those real fast. Um, here's, you know, obviously it's for mastering. So mastering one, two, and three. You can, of course, use this during the mixing stage and, you know, just use one or two of these different uh, processors in here. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, but you can also open the T-Rex 3 as a standalone application in your apps folder uh, for mastering. That's pretty much, I think, the preferred way. Uh, but you could also do it in GarageBand. It's up to you. So anyway, let's look at uh, Master 1. So you click on that and you get this you know, very nice EQ. Tons of features, lots of different options. You, know, you can make this uh, do a low, row, uh, low end roll off or a high-end cut, um, all sorts of, you know, it's just a really, really powerful EQ, and it also sounds very nice. Um, the one, next one in is the optical compressor. Nice little compressor, um, a little bit, uh, I, I don't know, I almost want to say dark. I, I like this one for things that were a little too brittle. Uh, I found that this one helped bring it down a little bit. It seemed a little dark to me, but in a good way. And then, of course, you know, they're really into uh, the vintage thing as well down there at IK Multimedia. So here's something. I'm not exactly sure what this is trying to emulate. To me, it kind of looks like a Pultec or something. Maybe someone could write in, someone who knows. Um, but this vintage EQ is really great. Uh, a little bit difficult to understand if you don't know right off the bat how they work um but not hard to figure out certainly if you just sit there and play with it and you can figure it out or you can read the instructions the other thing i wanted to mention you know so you can buy these individually uh and if you're looking for one thing to buy that i recommend right out of the gate is this the classic compressor um this thing is awesome spectacular performance from this thing uh, the stereo enhancement feature in particular is amazing. You can increase it up to 5 dB uh, or reduce it, you know, again, down to 5 dB, negative 5. Uh, but this thing is great. I love the way it sounds. It's warm. It's thick. It's, you know, that stereo enhancement thing. Um, really, really fun to play with. Uh, I don't know. It's just a great, great compressor. So for mastering, you know, my experience with this was that it's, you know, it was easy to, you know, open these pre, uh, presets and then just play with the stuff inside and figure out, you know, how it works. And to find a good tone was really not that difficult. Now, the last thing that I want to show you, just because they just recently came out um, and they're really cool. Uh, the first one is this. This is the TR3. This is the white 2A leveling amplifier. This is basically a limiter compressor. Uh, very nice, transparent sound uh you know if you have you know like acoustic guitars that are just you need to compress it but you don't want it to sound super compressed this is the one to get uh i really like this for that great on vocals um great on you know sort of to me mandolin brighter things i liked this on brighter things that was what i liked it on um the other thing that i think a lot of people are going to be interested in is the other one uh the tr3 black this is the um, let me get it open. This is the Black 76 limiting amplifier. And this is a really cool thing for if you're doing anything that's loud. So scream vocals, uh, drums, electric guitars, anything that's really loud. And you kind of want to give it that heavy but not overbearing compression sound that is very famous sound. Um, this is a definite choice. Uh, I really, really enjoyed playing with this on the drum tracks. Playing, uh, you know, with the input and output really 
uh, changed the tone a lot. You know, you were getting more hi-hat or less kick drum or whatever. As the, you were manipulating the gain structure of this particular plugin, it was really uh, obvious what it was doing and what it was doing was very nice. Um, so that's pretty much it. You know, there's lots more information on their website. So please go over to ikmultimedia.com. Uh, check out everything they got because um, a lot of it is great. I haven't tried all of it, so I can't say. I will say there's one thing. Um, the process to download these uh, can get a little cumbersome. So just stick with it. Read the instructions that they give you. There are a few steps um, and it gets a little bit, I got a little confused. I had to exchange a couple of emails with their customer service people, but they were very fast and uh, very polite and uh, very knowledgeable and solved my problems instantly. Um, so there's that. But anyway, great company, making great stuff, uh, and it will definitely improve your recordings. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Later. <laughs>